In this illustration, we will see a situation when shots are fired from top of a hill. Here it is saying two guns situated at the top of a hill of height 10 meter fires fire shots at same speed 5 root 3 meters per second at some interval. And first shot is fired at an angle 60 degree above horizontal and the other one is horizontally. We are required to find the time interval between firing show that the two shots collide in mid air. Here if we draw the situation here say if this is a hill and the height of hill is 10 meter above the ground from where two shots are fired one is in horizontal direction and one is at an angle 60 degree with respect to horizontal. Say this is one and this is two. Then it will follow a horizontal projectile and the other one will follow again a parabolic trajectory and say this is the point P where the two shots may collide. Obviously, here we can see two will take lesser time in reaching point P and one will take longer time. Then it means one is fired a little bit early compared to the second shot so that the time difference is such that they will collide at point P. Say if the first one reaches point P in time T1 and the second one takes time T2 in reaching point P. Here we can write let T1 and T2 are timings taken by shots 1 and 2 in reaching point P. Here we can use if a point P is having a coordinate x and y with respect to the projection point, then we can write x is equals to for short 2, we can write it will take a time t2, so the distance travel can be written as u t2, and for the short 1, if it is taking a time t1, we can write it u cos 60 degree into t1. This implies on simplifying we are getting t1 is equals to 2t. So, this is our first equation and for the distance y traveled by 1 and 2 here we can write y is equals to for this short 1 we can write it as this is in negative side we can write minus y is equals to u sin 60 degree into t1 minus half g t1 square. The same can be written as minus half g t2 square because the second shot is not having any initial speed. So, it will fall in time t is half g t2 square. Here to calculate the value of t2 we substitute t1 as equals to 2 t2 over here. See what we are getting this is minus half g t2 square is equals to u and sin 60 is root 3 by 2 and t1 we can substitute as 2 t2 minus half g multiplied by 2 t2 square. So, further we if we simplify this here you can see 1 t2 gets cancelled out. So, the remaining terms on simplifying we are getting t2 is equals to 2 root 3 multiplied by 5 root 3 divided by 30 and that is equals to 1 second. So, the value of t2 we are getting here is 1 second that means the value of t1 is equals to 2 second. So, if we calculate the time interval between Firing of shots, this can be given as delta t is equals to t2 minus t1 that is equals to 2 minus 1 that is 1 second that is the final result of this problem.